we're going to look at the last part of question number 10 on your test 3 review for Math 1033. This question involves adding and subtracting rational expressions. And again, in case you didn't watch the first part, let me remind you that when you're adding or subtracting rational expressions, you need a common denominator because basically the denominator represents the unit. So when you're adding or subtracting things, you need common units. So let's look in the denominator here at this problem. Denominator is really what matters right now because this is a subtraction problem. Okay, we've got the camera on it now. Now, before I begin this problem, I need the denominators to match. x squared minus 4 can be replaced with x plus 2 times x minus 2. In other words, we factor. This denominator only has an x minus 2 in it. We need these denominators to match. So what you can see, this denominator is missing an x plus 2. If I put it downstairs, I also have to put it upstairs. When you multiply the denominator of a fraction by something, you have to do the same to the numerator. Now we have the same denominator now, x plus 2 x minus 2 one time because that's our common denominator. We work with the numerators. 7x minus 2 is the first numerator. Now this next numerator, we need to do some distributing here. And the smartest way to distribute, I try to teach this to my students, is don't multiply by a 3, multiply by a negative 3. And that takes care of the sign change for you and distributing the 3 as well. Negative 3 times x is a negative 3x. Negative 3 times a positive 2 is a negative 6. We work with the numerators. The numerator becomes, when I collect like terms, it becomes 4x minus 8. The denominator, x plus 2 times the quantity x minus 2. Now, one thing that you would do in arithmetic, and you have to do the same thing in algebra, is to make sure that your final answer is in lowest terms. Well, in order to do that, you need to factor the numerator, factor the denominator, and then cancel out any common factors. In the numerator, when I factor out a 4, I'm left with the quantity x minus 2. That's a different way of writing the top. And the denominator has already been factored. And now notice what happens. The common factors of x minus 2 cancel out. And my final answer is 4 over x plus 2. And be careful. Don't be tempted to cancel that 2 into that 4 because this is not a 2. This is an x plus 2. It's an entire quantity, and that it's an entire factor, and that plus makes it so. All right. Thank you.